And uh, and you can watch, you know, the last 20 minutes of this show. And uh, I can't go to Chicago anyway because I'm sick. Mm. And I was not going to go to Chicago. And I probably still wouldn't go to Chicago. But, like, I cannot tell you how effective the last 20 minutes of this show was. Okay? Now, when Tony was doing that post-show press conference and... You know, they announced that, uh, you know, Orange Cassidy wanted to face John Moxley, which we have, we have to go back even further, by the way. We have to go back to uh, the actual pay-per-view when he pinned Claudio Castagnoli in that match. Yes. Who is the Ring of Honor champion. And uh, I have no idea why they did that because, you know, they got these battle royals. They got these tournaments and everything like that. You know, the easiest way to set up a challenger is just have him pin the champion. So, Orange Cassidy pinned Claudio. The logical thing is that she, he should get a championship match. But instead, Orange Cassidy explains, well, I have pinned Wheeler. I have pinned Claudio. I would like to pin John Moxley. So, I want John Moxley at the pay-per-view. So, they announced this at the press conference. Orange Cassidy, John Moxley at the pay-per-view. Then, Penta shows up, and he issues a challenge to Orange Cassidy. And I'm like, I don't get why we did any of this. Like, you know, no one thinks that Penta's going to beat Orange Cassidy. It just seems like an extra thing. Like, why not just have Orange Cassidy and John Moxley do a promo? I'm thinking all these things in my mind. And I'm like, it's just complicated. Like, why does it have to be so complicated? Well, I was wrong. Because Orange Cassidy comes out here for this match with Penta. And son of a bitch, this fucking match was great. Mm -hmm. And you know, another press conference story. About two shows ago, Orange Cassidy's doing his press conference. And he's in character and everything like that. And they ask questions and he's all silly. And then someone goes, you know, Orange, this has been quite the run with that uh, international title. And uh, do you think that you're, you're one of the best wrestlers in the world? And Orange Cassidy paused for a second and he goes, not even close. And then he left. That was the end of his press conference. Well, uh... He's wrong. <laughs> he is wrong, dude. Yes. This fucking match was so awesome. It was. It was, in fact, awesome. So they they do this match, and the place is just going fucking haywire. And they did the spot with the three sequential, uh... Canadian Destroyer Exchange. Destroyer, <laughs> Destroyer, Destroyer. <laughs> then they stumble around. They're half dead. Yeah. Then Orange walks right into the fucking uh, Made in Japan. Made in Japan. He kicks out of that. And so then they're fighting on the apron. And Penta gives him a package pile driver, which looked like it fucking killed him right there on the apron. He goes to cover. Orange gets the ropes. Penta has been teasing the arm breaker. He's teasing, yes. teasing. He finally hits the arm breaker. Orange Cassie sells it like you never see anybody sell anything. And then Penta hits that package pile driver right in the middle of the ring. And no matter what I thought on Sunday, I was like, oh my fucking God, Penta's pinning Orange Cassidy. What the fuck? And Orange Cassidy kicked out, and then he hit that crucifix, and he pinned the guy. I was like, I am so happy that they fucking did this. Yeah. Because... That match was so awesome. So the match is over, and the match is so great. Now I'm even more jazzed for the the Orange Cassidy Moxley match. That match, that match alone, made me all ready to buy this pay per view. Then Orange Cassidy, he gets in the ring. I'm gonna recap his promo. I know what you're thinking, and you're not wrong. Orange Cassidy says, "I am so tired, my body hurts." Every single time I have a title defense, this backpack gets a little heavier. But you know what he says? I'm here. I'm wrestling. I'm defending the international championship because this means everything to me. This is what AEW is. It's about putting a person who is told you'll never do anything. You're too skinny. You're too short. You're too different. I am the champion. And I will continue defending my championship for as long as I want. Nothing anybody can do to take it away from me. Moxley, you better bring more than a fork because I'm always going to be the international champion. I am freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy and I do not have a catchphrase. 
And Moxley comes down to the ring, and he jumps in the ring, and he fucking slaps Orange, and Orange slaps him, and they go face to face, and I thought, God damn it, where's my fucking wallet? The last fucking 20 minutes of this show, holy shit. It was so great. It was so great. Because once again, not just Moxley, but also Orange Cassidy, these fuckers stepped up. Yeah. These fuckers saw what went down, and they were like, you know what? We got a headline, a fucking pay-per-view. And they went out there, and man, they fucking got my money. It was awesome. It fucking was fu awesome. Fucking brilliant. It was brutal. Uh, as you mentioned, Pentas keeps going for the arm breaker and not getting it, but he's working over the arm. Uh, to the point where he does a big dive, and the announcers are screaming, ah, oh, he hit Orange with a bad arm. What actually happened is he may have like passed Orange bad arm and then got splat on the floor and he pops up like he's totally fine and just showing off his dive like, oh my god i never walk again uh what well, long match with the two commercials they, they worked each other's they, they, they worked their asses off the canadian destroyer exchange it was like a new japan match where they stand there and trade chops only it was canadian destroyers which sounds ridiculous but it worked great the place is going absolutely haywire when orange finally does his stick and he tries to like put his hands in his pockets and do the slow kicks and all that his arm hurts so bad he can't even throw fake fake punches with his right arm has to pull it over with his left to do a fake fake punch so they're doing all this stuff the powder over the apron and penta finally gets that arm snapper and he hits the fear factor in the ring and the timing of this was incredible because orange has turned being pinned into a cover so fast the fans barely even realize what happens it's like one, two, kick out, two, three. <laughs> then Orange is one. And uh, it was fantastic. It was awesome. I'm not joking when I say Orange Cassidy has been my favorite wrestler of 2023. Uh, if you had MJF's best two or three matches, were probably better than Orange's best two or three. But Orange is doing this. Yeah, it's been a while, but for a while he's doing this every week, at least every month. He's out there being a star, and it's awesome, and I love it. And then afterwards, you, you mentioned the promo. Orange never does promos. He finally does. It's great. <laughs> he, just, he, he acknowledges that being champion is hard. He's tired. He is broken. Don't matter. No excuses. He, no one will take this from him. He's told everyone who's told him he was too short and too skinny and too different. I'm the champion. And I'm defending as long as I can. I'm freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. And I do not have a catchphrase. Calling back to what Moxie had said earlier about everyone having one. So Mox comes out to confront him. And he... Pie faces Orange, and Orange responds by throwing a punch that doesn't hurt John, but it does hurt Orange's punching hand. <laughs> Just to remind you how beat up this guy is. This is like long-term, long-con babyface fire. He gets more and more damage every time, but he never gives up, and he never quits, and he always finds a way to get the job done. Yes. He, he's but you know what? Man. His body is falling apart. But he's only human. His body is falling apart. He got that arm breaker spot. And you know who won their match with an arm bar on this show? As I recall, it was John Moxley. Yeah, John Moxley. Yes. He's got a new... If you've been watching his matches lately, he's he's clearly got something new, which is you hit a big move, and the dude kicks out of your big move, and you don't do the, the silly face, the shocked look. The guy kicks out, and you just grab him and submit him. He's done it like three straight matches now. Yes, yes. And, uh, and he did it with Commander. Hit him with the big move. Dude kicked out, so he just fucking grabbed him for the choke. But this commander wouldn't quit, and so he did the uh, 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 weak side choke into the armbar spot from uh, uh -huh. Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. But I think he forgot it was fake, because I think he almost tore this fucker's arm off. <laughs> it looked like, uh -huh. God, poor commander. <clears throat> but anyway, Orange better watch that arm, brother. Watch that wing. This title reign is in serious jeopardy come Sunday. You know it is. But you uh, know what's great about this match? You know what's everything? great about it? I don't know what's going to happen. No, I, I, I'm not... I'm not betting against him. And there are so many different things that they can do. Like, is this the end for Orange Cassidy because it's pay-per-view? Is this the beginning of a feud where he manages to eke out a win against Moxley and then later on? Because I've said this for a long time. It has to be a Moxley that beats him for this title, okay? I know people will go like, wow, you know, can't you elevate somebody because Orange been... No. Orange, Orange was a guy who got elevated... And is now a big-time star because of the success of defending this title, okay? So, the only person 
maybe not the only person, but like it's got to be a Moxley or a Jay White or like I'm not even sure Jay White. It's got to be someone at the very, very tippy top that takes this belt away from Orange Cassidy. And then that guy can be pinned by an up and comer. They can put somebody over or whatever. So I think ultimately Moxley does have to beat him, but I don't know if he has to beat him Sunday. I guess we'll find out. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.